What is up everybody, Garden State Deviation here, back with another video. This is NG Models June 2022 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. So this release has a lot of new molds and just a lot of the newer molds that uh, NG is really trying to uh, get out there. So yeah, starting off here, we have a Boeing 737-600 uh, in the Aerofire livery. Registration is Charlie Golf Kilo Foxtrot papa and the price is 46.99 and uh before i continue i'm just gonna say that most of these models are one to 400 uh and there's only two of them that are one to 200 but yeah continuing on the line we have two west jets 737 800fs the first one is without split scimitars this one is charlie foxtrot tango whiskey juliet and the one with split scimitars is whiskey sierra so if you're buying this model uh be careful about which one uh has and does not have uh these split scimitars so whiskey sierra is the one that has these split scimitars uh and both of these are 46.99 continuing on down the line uh here we have two united 737 900 ers the first one is in the uh, continental united merger delivery with the registration november 68843 and then we have an eco skies 737 900 with the registration november 75432 now obviously this model is going to sell really fast because already the gemini jetson version one which was released i believe five or six years ago now at this point uh that one uh sold out so fast and now it goes for $100 on eBay, so this is going to sell out pretty well. But uh, both of these models are $46.99. And then we have two Boeing 747 SPs. Uh, the first one is the Chinese government with the registration number 1301 Echo. And the other one is the South African Airways uh, with the registration Zulu Sierra Sierra Papa Delta. Both of these are $57.99. Continuing on with this uh, duplicity, we have two Delta 757-200s. Both of these are uh, with the winglets, but this one just has this little 42nd uh, Mariano. Uh, yeah, Mariano Rivera sticker. Uh, registration on this is November 702 Tango Whiskey and 702 TW. And then the other 757-200 is just a normal one with winglets, and the registration is number 704 X-Ray. Now, the interesting thing about this is, I believe this, either this is an error on NG's part, or this is one of the few American aircraft that doesn't have a second letter after the uh, rest at the end of the registration. So, as an example, here you have Tango Whiskey, but here you just have X-Ray. But both of these are 4699. Moving on, we have three 777s in this release. The first one is a China Airlines Cargo 777F with the registration Bravo 18775. Yeah, Bravo 18775 with the price at $57.99. And then we have two 777-300DRs. One of them is KLM. Uh, registration is Papa Hotel Bravo Victor November. Uh, and this one's 60, 60 bucks, so $59.99. And then we have a KLM Asia 777-300R Papa Hotel Bravo uh, Victor Charlie, which is also 60 bucks, but obviously it's just KLM Asia. And then we have two 787-9 Dreamliners. The first one is actually Lufthansa. I believe this is the first model company to release it. Um, I'm going to have to check on that, but I believe this is the first uh, model company to release Lufthansa 787-9. Uh, registration is Delta Alpha Bravo Papa Alpha. Uh, the price is $55.99. And then we have an and then we have a Saudi 787-9 um, with the registration Hotel Zulu Alpha Romeo Echo in their 75 years livery. Both of these are $55.99. And then most of this release is actually comprised of NG Models' new A320 family molds. Uh, so as an example, here we have an SAS A319-100 in their Star Alliance livery. Registration is Oscar Yankee X-Ray Kilo, Kilo Bravo Romeo. Uh, and obviously the pricing now you guys are going to get to get a glimpse at the pricing of what their A320s are going to cost or the A320 family of aircraft that are going to cost for us. So they're going to cost around 47 bucks for now. Uh, they, all of them cost 47 bucks. So, uh, yeah, continuing on the line, we have a play A320 Neo, uh, registration is Tango Foxtrot Papa Papa Alpha. Uh, and like I said before, it's 47 bucks. And then we have two Indigo A321 Neos. Uh, the first one is just absolutely normal. There's no difference. Victor Tango, India Uniform Alpha. And then the other 820 Neo is in the 1000th uh, Neo sticker, as you guys can see, with the, with the registration Victor Tango, India Uniform Hotel. And then we have two more 
AC21 Neos, two more of them. We have a Delta AC21 Neo with demonstration number 502 Delta X-Ray. Now, I believe early, late last month, so late last May, uh, they just launched this route between Boston and San Francisco, and they're using AC21 Neo. So I, this model release is just in time for that. Um, yeah, it's forty-seven dollars, and then the final AC twenty family of aircraft that's going to release in this release is the Play Airlines A three twenty-one Neo with the registration Tango Foxtrot Alpha Echo Whiskey. Now, the AC twenty family of aircraft with NG models is actually going to be very, very interesting because of the fact that it's going to be interesting to see the difference in quality between uh gemini's a321 neos and a320 neos compared to ng's because obviously uh everybody knows that gemini has a problem with the large engines that are touching the ground when they're not supposed to be um but it's gonna be interesting to see whether or not ng has this exact same problem or whether they're higher quality as they're known for anyway continuing on we have a lufthansa ac30 300 um i don't know why ng is re-releasing this I think NG is re-releasing this. Um, let's check quickly. Uh, let's quickly check whether or not they're releasing this. Re-releasing this. So, yeah, it does appear that they are re-releasing this because I have uh, the A33300 in the Oldenburg livery. So they're just re-releasing it with a different registration. So it's Delta Alpha India Kilo Quebec. Uh, and not Oldenburg, it's just 2019 livery. So I guess that was a very popular model because they're re-releasing it. That's interesting. Anyway, moving on, we have an Air France AT5900. Registration is Foxtrot Hotel Tango Yankee Juliet. Uh, the price for the AT30 is 56 bucks, and then for the Air France AT50, it is 58. And then we have uh, just one retro model in this release. I believe this is because Buchanan Models is using NG's molds in order to sell their models, but we have a TWA L1011 with the registration November 41012, and the price is 56 bucks on this. And then we have two uh, TU204s, two plus TU204s. The first one is in the Aeroflot livery. Uh, registration is RA64010. This is something very controversial to release right now, especially because of the current situation with politics and just what's going on with Russia now. This is not gonna sell well, I don't think, but the uh, but the price is 47 bucks. Anyway, we have one more model, that's one more tier to avoid it's being released. This is a TNT aircraft, which I believe is a British cargo airline, but the registration on this is Sierra Uniform Echo Alpha Golf. And then we have the last two 1 to 400 models, which is a China Express ARJ 21700. The first one has a registration Bravo 650 Quebec. And the second one is Bravo 650 Papa. And this one has some sort of special livery on it. Uh, just a special CS, so I don't know what kind of livery it is. And then NG is releasing two 1 to 200 models in this release. We have a Gulfstream G550 in the state of Kuwait livery. Uh, registration is 9 kilo golf foxtrot alpha and the price on that is 68 bucks and then we have a 68 dollar crj 200 lr in the mexicana one world with the registration x-ray alpha papa mike india xa pmi now i do think that the i think the mexicana has also been re-released um no actually there's wait there's one mexicana link Oh, so the only difference is uh, this Mexicana Link aircraft compared to the last release. This one is in another livery, in the one word livery, while the other one wasn't. But uh, yeah, that is the end of uh, this release. What I definitely do want to go for is the United 737-900s, the Delta 757-200, and the Play A320 and A321 Neos. Um, and if I do have a little bit of money left over, which I'm probably not, I'm probably, I mean, going to be able to get half of these models, uh, I may want to go for the Aeroflyer 737-600. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell, so you my videos, and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.